Facts of Mars, and as you may know already, uh, Ted Cruz has been mathematically eliminated. The elections of April 26 basically knocked him out of the race. Not that he's going to stop; he isn't going to stop. Uh, it's just that he cannot reach 12:37. Now, make no mistake about it, what I figured out about Cruz is that he is the establishment uh, candidate. They snuck in, they tried to play, um, put, uh, put him as an outsider, which is BS. He's a senator, for crying out loud. That's bad enough. But he also gained, he also has very powerful allies. So, he doesn't need 1237 delegates to take this from Trump. I don't know what happens if Trump reaches 1237, and then, uh, I don't know if they can still take it away from him. But, uh, the Cruz and Kasich alliance. Cruz and Kasich are allied to try to stop Trump from getting in there. It's coming right down to the wire. But they have gained Rush Limbaugh as an unflagging ally. I've been angry at Rush for a while, and now I heard a show yesterday, and I flipped. Uh, see, the primary has nothing to do with actual individual people chosen as delegates. All the primary does is tell those delegates what they've done, have to do on the first ballot, or in the case of Florida, first three ballots. They have to take a break, and I'm sadly out of time. He was talking to a caller. Rush, you know, I'm wondering if I should try this again or just let it be. I should have just let it be. Would people be more comfortable suing in their anger or actually figuring this out? I just got an email from a friend in North Carolina, I just had the process of delegate selection in North Carolina explained to me and Cruz people came in here and they took charge. It's all legal, but it's an amazing story of massive knowledge of the rules coordination by the Cruz campaign. Right there, it should tell you that he's an uh, insider to the max. He's not an outsider. And I'm going to skip down. What is this? This is a political story. Cruz crushes Trump in weekend delegate fight. Hang on, folks. Stay with me on this. There's no attempt at being here made to irritate anybody. You, know, you don't have to try. You're already doing it, Rush. There are explanations for all this, and nobody's been cheated. That is a lie. I'm sorry, Rush. You are a liar. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. And I realize that some of you are never going to believe me, but no one is being cheated. That is another lie. Rush Limbaugh, you are a liar. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. In other words, the process is not being violated. Rules are not being violated here in any of this delegate selection stuff. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Uh, the voters have spoken, that's, you know, how they vote is how the delegates should vote. In my book, if they vote for Cruz, they need to go to Cruz. If they vote for Trump, they need to vote for Trump. In the story. And again, I'll do my best to make this understandable. may not be satisfactory. Ted Cruz and I should know the delegate landslide Saturday, stretching his advantage in a competition that might never occur, the second ballot of a contested Republican National Convention in July. Took a hit of my coffee. Cruz won at least 65 of 94 delegates up for grabs Saturday. He may have 
won more than 65, but Kentucky's 25 have, haven't revealed their leanings. I'm just reading from the political news story. Political. Texas Senator has so thoroughly dominated the fight to send loyalists to the National Convention that a front-runner Donald Trump fails to clinch the nomination on the first ballot, Cruz's wall position to surpass him, perhaps even snag the nomination for himself. Now, I understand just how the possibility of that might make somebody think, well, that's got to be cheating, because here's the process. People in the primary in our country, the way people vote is the way it ends, and that's what everybody thinks. People vote, so we have a primary, and Donald Trump wins Florida. There's no way that Donald Trump should ever lose Florida after that, is what everybody thinks, right? Yes, you're right. People in Florida in the primary gave more votes to Trump than anyone else, and every vote in the convention in Florida ought to be voting for Trump, right? And anything that means the system, anything other than that means the system is being gained. And then, it, Rush makes up a story about a fake state. It's a fictional state, so let's take the state of San Cordoba. Let's make up our own state. San Cordoba has... 100 delegates. Now, just sit with me on this. The San Cordoba has primary in January. And in that primary, let's say Donald Trump wins San Cordoba and gets, let's say, all their delegates on the first ballot. Donald Trump wins all 100 delegates in San Cordoba. But San Cordoba doesn't have any delegates yet. Delegates have, yet, have to be selected in San Cordoba. San Cordoba's delegates might not be chosen until May or April or March, whenever San Cordoba has its convention, its party convention. All that's known when San Cordoba convention conveners is that on the first ballot in the upcoming national election, every delegate has to vote the way the people of the state vote, that means for Donald Trump. But on the second and third ballot, delegates are free agents and they can vote for whomever they want. Okay, so San Cordoba primary happened in January. San Cordoba Republican Convention is in April. And Rush goes on and on. He's just twisting and twisting and twisting things. And I remember the conversation. Rush went on to uh, sing the praises of Kasich and Cruz. He's saying Cruz is an outsider. He's not an insider. Just looking at how Cruz has manipulated things is proof that he's an insider. I don't need anything more than that. Let's say Ted Cruz decides he's going to go in there and try, going to try to arrange it so as many of those hundred delegates from state San Cordoba support him. Another hit of my coffee. One sec. Gasek can do the same thing. Bush could have done the same thing. Marco Rubio could have done the same thing. The only one that apparently can is Trump. I'm going to see if I can find a place where... Where he uh, says that uh, cruises and uh, outsider, which is utter BS. Actually, actually, from what I understand, Cruz is like uh, a backup for the Bush family. That's what I've heard. But basically, he's saying it's okay for these. Uh, for Cruz or anybody else to go in, buy the delegates off, and then screw the voters out of their vote. That's basically what Rush is saying. 
uh, Russia is an ally of the Kasich and Cruz Alliance. This is the bottom line. He doesn't mind their cheating. He doesn't mind anything. I don't know what's going to happen. Now, what happens if Trump reaches 1237? Does that mean he gets a nomination? Well, this bunch of cheating liars, I don't know. Uh, what I'm wondering is, Cruz runs around, starts changing delegates back to him. He might reach 1237 simply by cheating. So, uh, I'm going to cut this short. Rush Limbaugh is clearly on the side of Ted Cruz. He's allied with Kasich and Cruz, who are allied together. Anything can happen here. I, I just shudder to think what's going to happen. I have no idea. This election has become another nightmare. On the other side, the one wild card here and something to watch out for is Hillary. Uh, I'm talking about Hillary's health. Uh, she has this nasty cough. And we don't really know what's causing it other than apparently it has something to do with her brain. Now, she were to succumb to whatever this disease is, then we got a major problem. Like, it fill, presents a gap which will probably be filled by Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo of this state in New York is worse. Believe me, he's worse than Hillary. The guy is a true psychopath. So I'm actually for, hoping for Hillary to at least stay healthy. And on guns, he'd be just as bad as she would. The uh, New York Safe Act has been a disaster for the state. Uh, Rush Limbaugh gets the Piggy Award for being essentially a cruise bot. He's on the side of Cruz. He's going to do everything he can to assist him in cheating Trump out of the nomination. May not work, but that's the way it is. That's how I see it. I'm not taking it back. Rush Limbaugh, you get a piggy award for being allied with Ted Cruz and Kasich. I'm sick of it. I'm on effects Mars. I don't mind Cruz if he won legitimately when he cheats. I have a problem with that. I'm on effects Mars. Thanks for watching.